Good afternoon, everybody. It's Elise, and today is day 37 of my weight loss journey on the Undiet Code, and things are going really fabulously well. I lost a pound this week. Elle lost two pounds, then got her period. Since she got her period, the law of chickness is there is one flow leader. That's me. It's Ellen. So there's like a mama duck, <laughs> and then all her period ducklings follow suit. So Ellen is first, then I'm next. I'm not sure who's after that. So maybe I'm collecting whatever you collect before your period. And so maybe my loss was really more than one pound. I have no idea. But even still, I have six and a half pounds to go before I am at my goal. So that's not terrible, right? Before I would say, oh God, another six pounds, how am I going to do it? Blah, blah, blah. suck. Okay, so we have a new rule. Rule number 11. Unless you're a paid professional comedian, which none of you are, and if you are, you can write to me and tell me to stick it up my ass, but unless you are, no more self-deprecating humor. I hate it, okay? I know you're a sad little clown. Everybody else around you knows you're a sad little clown, and that's why you're making fun of yourself. It's not nice, okay? If you weren't you and you were somebody who was making fun of you, I'd be like, don't make fun of them like that. That's dumb. That's not nice. So don't say things about your body and how comfortable and how you, when you, you can make a fire by rubbing your legs together. <laughs> it's not funny. I don't like it. And you know why I started thinking about it? Because uh, Paris Hilton was on Piers Morgan yesterday. Granted, she's a Hilton, so she has name recognition to start. And he said to her, I'm um, bad English accent. So, I make ten million dollars a year. Is that close? And she's like, mm -hmm. I don't like to talk about money. <laughs> Looks at her mother. And then she said, I make more than ten million dollars a year. And then you know what she said? I'm really proud of myself. I'm really proud of what I've created. And I was like, Shit. that's right. You should be proud. You created something out of nothing. You're basically a jack off who jerked some guy off on a sex video that I saw that was pretty good. And now you're making like 20, 30, however many million dollars a year just by being you and she's proud of it. You hear that? Yeah. She doesn't give a shit. But what I'm telling you is this. <laughs> the more positive energy that you project, right, and the more positive things you say about yourself, you'll actually start believing your own crap at some point. You'll say enough times, wow. I'm this, or I'm good at this, or this, or this, or whatever. Or look what I did. I got some, I got some thing going on, right? And so it's maybe exciting, maybe not. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to talk about it. But what I'm saying is, my first reaction was, oh, I don't know. It's nothing. Maybe it'll be nothing. Who cares? Whatever. But you know what? Suck that, right? It is good. And maybe it'll be great. And why wouldn't I think it'll be great? So, rule number 11. And what that Chew, who's that comedian, Hugh, Chew, that Margaret, that, Margaret Chew, Margaret Chew, Dancing with the Stars, when she first started, I don't know if you guys remember this, but she was dancing like, a, like an idiot, right, because she was fat and she felt stupid, and then she was like, you know what, I'm going to dance like a dancer. And she started taking it seriously, and she looked a million times better. She stopped treating herself like a jack-off. Right? She stopped being like, oh, I'm fat, and it's funny, and it's great, and I love being fat. She stopped doing that. And she started saying, you know what? I'm going to get healthy, da-da-da. And it's not about being hot or whatever. All I'm saying is don't be bad to yourself. I hate it. I don't want to hear it anymore. And if you're doing it, stop it because it's dumb. 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 Stupid. So that's my lecture of the day. Be good to yourself, da-da-da. And I'm going away, so I don't know if I'm going to um, be able to do this next week. I have to figure it out. I may have to do it remotely. I know. It would be crazy for you to, like, continue your life without me. Anyway, thank you for listening. Same time, same place, same channel.